Olympic gold medal gymnast, that's Ali Raisman, is calling for an independent investigation to the alleged mishandling of sexual abuse allegations against former team doctor Larry Nasser. In a statement on Twitter, Raisman said this, the U.S. Olympic Committee is still not acknowledging its own role in this mess. So far, more than 100 women and girls have testified against Nasser ahead of the sentencing. More are expected to speak out today. Dr. John LaPook has been following this story and joins us once again at the table to discuss. John, hi. Good morning, Gail. The chairman, vice chairman, and treasurer of USA Gymnastics resigned yesterday under pressure from the U.S. Olympic Committee. But victims have criticized USA Gymnastics, Michigan State University, and the USOC for not doing enough to stop Nasser when the first complaint surfaced years ago. But my hate towards you is uncontrollable. Larry Nassar, I hate you. 15-year-old Emma Ann Miller was possibly Larry Nassar's final victim. She says he treated her monthly since she was 10 years old. Her last appointment in 2016, just a week before Nassar was fired from Michigan State University. MSU Sports Medicine charged me for those appointments. My mom is still getting billed for appointments where I was sexually assaulted. A Michigan State University spokesperson said Miller's allegation is being addressed and patients of Nasser with outstanding bills will not be billed. When girls came forward and told an adult, the adults didn't listen. Why didn't they listen? Victims have not only taken aim at Nasser and Michigan State, but also at USA Gymnastics and the U.S. Olympic Committee, organizations they believe mishandled complaints about Nasser. How are we to believe in change when these organizations aren't even willing to acknowledge the problem? During her testimony last Friday, Olympian Ali Raisman called out USA Gymnastics and the U.S. Olympic Committee for standing by as athletes were abused. Yesterday, the U.S. Olympic Committee released a statement saying it had been engaged in discussions with USA Gymnastics, which led to three board resignations. Raisman responded by blasting the committee for shamelessly taking credit adding the Olympic Committee is still not acknowledging its own role in this mess. Zero accountability. Both USA Gymnastics and the United States Olympic Committee have been very quick to capitalize and celebrate my success. But did they reach out when I came forward? No. The USOC said yesterday the Olympic family failed these athletes and they must continue to ensure this never happens again. USA Gymnastics also suspended a former Olympic head coach, John Getter, yesterday, the owner of Twist Stars Gym in Michigan. USAG did not give a reason for the suspension, but many women allege in court records abuse by NASA occurred there. Getter did not respond to our request for comment. Those statements were so hard to watch, John. You could really feel and see the pain and the anger in the room. You were there. What was it like? What was it like? Take us inside. You know, Gail, I've been following this for a year, and this brought my understanding to a whole other level. What you could not see from home was looking at the audience, the faces, the devastation, the oh, tears, goodness. the anger, mm -hmm. and one father addressing Nasser directly. You felt the fury. And then this moment that I, I really almost lost it where... A young woman was testifying and giving her statement, and behind her, her parents, and at one moment, she got so emotional, she had a halt and stop, and her mother just reaches out and touches the small of her back. Wow. Does but I will tell you, it's uplifting, too, because yeah. I spoke to a bunch of the women afterwards. They were hugging each other. They were supporting each other physically and emotionally, and I asked uh, several of them, what, what was it like listening to each other's statements? Mm -hmm. And immediately the answer, empowering. Does Nasser have children? Is he yeah, married? What's yeah, his deal? He does. He, I think he has three children. He's married. And uh, wow. it, this is just all hard to, yeah. to comprehend. Your reporting has been incredible from the very yes. beginning. Thank you, John. Thank you.